and welcome to All About the Bases. Ooh. Hey, I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Yes. You've come back. Nice to see you again. Yes, thank you, you for coming back. Once before, where have you been? Yes. Huh? Welcome. We have many episodes that you can go back and view. Yes, uh, You can do. click various buttons. Oh, yes. Where there's, are there's, they? What are they? Well, there's more videos Come up here, some. in this corner here, and that you, if you will do so, so kindly, there's a like button down here, and if you haven't subscribed... Is there anything over here? They should do that. There's things over there. Don't don't play around too much over there. All It's all I've, over here, really. I've got some so, tea. Uh, yeah, tea over there, but you, your focus should be down in this corner, but thank you. Focus. <laughs> so, listen, today, oh, we have a little look, overview look on the this. Fender Player Plus. Yes. Series. Yeah, unfortunately, we're a little bit late. Just a couple of months to the party, um, but um, we've, we've got better a, late than never. Absolutely, absolutely. But uh, we have a nice selection of all the different colours and um, models available in stock now. So we thought we'd give you a give uh, you a show. Give and I'll show. tell you what, I'm very taken with some of these colours too. Ah, uh, yes. This yes. is an absolute corker. This is gorgeous. Yeah, a few in the range have got this like kind of sparkle finish with the uh, with the paint as well. So this one is cosmic jade green. Lovely. Yes, and yours has got a little bit of sparkle. You've got there. There as well, which is the opal sparkle blue. Opal sparkle blue. Yes. This is very subtle, but I'm really digging it. You're That's... taking with the uh, the I, candy I apple am. red. Look. Yeah. Look at oh, it's that. It's aged candy apple red, sorry I should say. But yes, it's got more of that kind of copper look, which is lovely. That is really nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. But uh, so look, and, look, and that over there. Look, oh yeah, we didn't even look. Oh look at this. Look at this Bel Air blue. Bel Air Blue, there's some really good names this year as well with these. Bel Air Blue. Bel Air Blue. So yeah, you've got some really lovely multi-coloured ones. There's some also some colours that we don't have here, because the, the range is, is massive, but uh, click below, you'll be able to see the other finishes. So you um, can see how shallow I am, because I'm only interested in the colours. <laughs> You're sold already. But um, fortunately, uh, <laughs> Lee knows more about the, no, uh, okay. the ins and outs of the text. Uh, aside from the colours, there's a little bit more going on. So, is there? Yes, just a little, just a little. What, what light then? Well, so you've got your standard from, so look at the player range that um, most people will be familiar with. The Fender Players is where um, the standard Mexican built um, fenders are made okay. uh, and that's their range, the player range. Right. Um, this is a bit of a step up so you think of it as the, the deluxe uh, on, on that side, on that range. Okay. Um, and with that it offers some things that the player bases do not have. So right. um, a few things. Uh, well, most no notably <gasps> I suppose. Yes. Oh, you this. Know yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah we've got a few extra uh, dials here, so it gives it away, but absolutely, we've got some um, preamp action going and on. An 18 thing. volt active preamp. Yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah, 18 volts, so two, two AA battery, uh, AA, no, I always say that. Nine P volt, of course. PP3s. PP3s, the they big are. chunky square ones. Two of those. Um, and uh, and yes, with that, you've got the, the lovely preamp here, so a few extra things you can do than just a standard P or a jazz bass, because yeah, you've got extra control and scope over your EQ. So yeah, it's, um, it's, but basically it gives you enhanced sort of tonal variations. Mm -hmm. So on the passive basses, you know, you've just got the, the regular passive tone. Yep. It's more like a sort of cut, if anything else. You know? mm -hmm. um, whereas this has actually got uh, some proper boost and cut action going on. So you've got proper uh, nice treble uh, boost and cut. Uh, th that's on the concentric pot, funnily enough. Yes. Treble on the top, bass on the bottom, and then the mid uh, cut and boost on the back. On the end, yep. And then a little switch, a little dip switch <gasps> yes. there you can see, which is, see, which is your active on and off. So if you want to run it just passive, uh, that's fine, you can do that too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that is where you'll get more of that, what you'll be getting from the standard player range is that is that passive sound. So then, yeah, you engage your switch, which you don't have on the player normal series, and then you get, yeah, the extra enhanced sound of, um, of the EQ, along with noiseless pickups, which they've just Ooh. updated as well. So are they, I don't know if they're extra noiseless, <laughs> but they are, they've, they've been tweaked again to, um, to, to match these basses. So oh, well, um, that, that's really handy, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, so you don't have to worry about any horrible noises or feedback if you're close to close to your amp and things and that. So nice. um, other things to mention, um, you've got a oh, lovely satin finished neck on here. C-shape, modern C-shape finished neck. Um, and the fingerboard actually is something to, that is, is different as well. So you've got a 12 inch radius on this. So it's the actual curvature of the of the board is a lot flatter. Ah, um, so uh, I mean, just yes. initially felt very nice to play. What, do, what right. do you think? Yeah, no, 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 literally just got these out of the box and they are, yeah. You've got a Singing. four, I've got a five. Yeah. You know, sometimes with a five it can be a little bit clumpy, a little bit lumpy, but actually this is very nice. Feels good, yeah. Comparable to uh, 
Similar bases. Good stuff, yeah. Like, and and um, my favourite little uh, addition, this is something you don't get on the player series as well, which is on, on the P-Base anyway, is you've got another jazz pickup. Ah, which again gives you a lot more tonal variations, right? Yes, yeah, so there's a lot more sweeping you can do through there, loads more tones you can get just otherwise in the standard player range you'll just be playing with the one, like that. But well, I'll tell you what, you know, we, we keep going on about uh, the, the tonal variations. Let's oh, show the ladies we? and gentlemen, the boys and girls at home, what it sounds like. So I'll tell Good. you, you play it, right? Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I'll uh, have, a, have a little tweak them out cool. on there. I'm going to shove doggy. this on the sofa. Look at that, lovely. Look at that. I knew these sofas were good for something. Too right. We mm. tried sitting on them last week and yeah. we looked like we were eating the bases. Everything was like... Mm. Exactly. <laughs> I look even fatter than usual. Yeah. So I need to be higher up. Can we get some bar stools for, <laughs> yeah. for next time? <laughs> anyway. Right, so we have, I'm not too sure what's going on, I think I'll pick up in the middle. So this is a pickup selector yes, in the middle. Yes, it's there, a, so. a sweep, a balance control, if you will. If you will. So in that position, it's all that pickup. In that forward position, it's all that pickup. And then in the middle, it's both. Mm. And then you've got variable, you know, uh, infinite variations between the two. Yes. Volume, very straightforward on the front. Yep. So active here. Um, and then we've got treble and bass, mid. Lee, why don't you play it and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. Yes, let's do it, let's do it. Right. So you got lots of uh, lots of sounds in there. That is um, uh, just initially. It's a lot throatier. Is that a, like a word? You know, like it's, it's got a, bit, a of, um, bit of growl to it. Yeah. Than, you know, like the, the, the mid. Yeah, when you wind the mid in, yeah. it's really got a bit of that, hasn't it? It's yeah. A bit more sort of a. Yeah. No, I like it, and I think I'm just I like that PJ setup as well. So I, that. Well, me of... too. I, I've sort of longed after this setup for a while, actually. Yeah. Because. Um, I really, I don't have a bass that's got this on it. Yeah. And I really think that would be a nice thing to have. It's quite amazing how much difference it makes just, you know, having a standard single call like oh, this yeah. in the jazz. Yeah, yeah. And then the split P style pickup. It's, it's, you it's think fun, you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's hardly anything different in the positioning, but it really does the tone is totally sound. different. Yeah. 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 Cool. Very Ooh, nice. Very right. nice too. Like it. Do you want to have a go at yours, man? Yeah. See what well, your, uh, your five does. I shall play this with a pick somewhere. With a pick? Okay, yeah, nice man, nice. Right. See, you you go. Gonna, you shall gonna I? Little, yeah, go on. Come on. Go on, right. have, have a little go. See what you, uh, see what you get yeah, out so of this. what we've got. So you're on both pickups. Yeah, I can do... Uh, everything flat. I mean, essentially it's going to... I mean, of course, yeah, because we've got the two jazzes, so it's going to sound a little bit different. Yeah. I'll, use, I'll do a bit of pick and I'll do a bit of slap as well, just to give Sweet. it some... Uh, yeah, a bit of variation. <laughs>
So, oh, mate, that holds the low end really nicely. Like the, the yeah. yeah, the low string's not doesn't sound like it's flapping around or anything. It's no, no, nice and tight. And that was the tone on there is just boosting everything a little bit with both pickups on at the end there. Um, yeah, it's yeah, all, it's so all very it's, musical, isn't it? The way it yeah, works. Yeah, too right. So, well, obviously a worthy addition to uh, to the series, Man, right? Too right. Yeah, I like. Oh, I just noticed that little detail as well. Like a little silver fender writing, jazz Ooh. and P bass. That's another. You don't get that on your standard player. No. You don't. There you go. Um, they're spoiling so, you. They, they are. Yeah, all the little details. I mean, it's, yeah, it does look swish actually. And I've just seen as well. These are all stamped with the 75th anniversary commemorative little stamp. Ooh. 75th uh, year of Fender. I think the Fender's 75th anniversary really? this year. Yeah, it just is. ending, just ending. Yeah, but um, so you got that little little stamp on there That's as well. That's nice. Um, I, I believe you get a bag. You do, yes. In the part of bag. Deluxe range of uh, Would you like Mexican one? range. Oh uh, yes, Chris, of course. Throw me a bag. Hey. Oh, that might have something in it. But oh no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Come on. Doesn't matter if it does. Really? Just spray. Hey, so, look at that. Beautiful Fender bag. Fender emboss bag. You know. Very Comes nice. with that. Lovely. Little gubbins. And um, yes, so on that, you're uh, looking about. Yes, well, this is the, the of course, the, the, the age old question how much? How much do you want? Are they going to cost? So these are all around the thousand pounds mark. So just think about that. So it's about 949 for most four strings here. Um, pretty much, yeah, all four strings. That one? Yes. Um, that and the, one. And this, yes, and this. Um, and then the fives are 1019. So just about 70 quid more. So, okay, yeah. so about kind of 950, 1020. Yep. Round about there. Yeah. Okay, all right. This and that, so, and then I suppose, to, you know, if you wanted to go up from here, yes. uh, you, you'd be buying a, a USA uh, model. Yeah, absolutely. What, yeah, you'd go into. What's the USA into... model that's, that's active and all that? Yeah, the, uh, actually, that one jumps up a little bit. I think it's the Ultra. So you can go to the, the American Professional next, which is, yeah, American built. Um, this is the thing, right? You, you, there might be something in this range that you prefer for your style of playing over the Americans. Because when you go to the American professional range, you don't have this again. So you don't have the PJ setup. You don't have active circuitry. Right, right, you know, right. you then do have to jump to the American Ultra, which okay. then has all this gubbins again. But uh, and that's obviously going to be twice the price. I think it's literally yeah around sort of double the double. price of these. So okay. you know there, there might be say pros and cons for each for you. So you know what you're looking for, but worth if you can try try the range. There we go. A lovely Fender active mm -hmm. bass in various different formats. Jazz, yeah. PJ, oh, and uh, fab colours, right? Fab, fab, That's fab. not to like. This green has won me over. Yeah. Won us both over, I think, isn't it? The greens, uh, the, I love the green. Yeah. I also love this. This is really, it's kind of really... Mm. Yes. Mm. It's got its own little vibe. Yeah, well, lovely. Well done, Fender. Yeah, nice one, Fender. Thanks, guys. Great job. So there you go, Fender Player Plus series. Um, you know, if you can get in the shop, come and check them out. Um, Absolutely. Yes, please do. If not, or if you like what you've heard already, uh, just get your credit card out and buy one. Give it a go. It's nearly Christmas. That's it. Unless treat you're yourself. this in July. <laughs> in which Still case, treat yourself. <laughs> it's Christmas in six months. <laughs> yeah. Buy one then. It's always nearly Christmas. Isn't it? Somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Love you lots. Thanks, folks. Ta-ta. See, See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.